How much does it really cost to live in Ontario? Let's find out. I'm going to start with the housing expenses as that's going to be the most expensive category. For rent, I rent a one bedroom apartment and split the cost with my girlfriend. The total price is $1,220 per month, so roughly $610 each. This amount includes hydro, heating, and water, so all we pay is a flat fee of $610 per month each. The apartment building is a fairly old building, maybe 40 years old or so. We have nice concrete walls, so there's not any sound coming in from other apartments. The building is decently well maintained. The uh, apartment is not super nice, but it's sufficient for what I'm looking for. And $1,220 for a one bedroom in Ottawa is not too bad of a price for 2023. We also pay apartment insurance, so that is $28 a month with Bel Air Direct. I bundle that with my auto insurance, and so that comes out to $14 each. My total housing cost is $624 a month, which includes my rent and my apartment insurance. Now let's look at my regular monthly bills and utilities. My cell phone plan is $51 a month. That is with Virgin Mobile. It includes 15 gigabytes of data and I do not pay any monthly amount for my phone. I bought my phone prior to starting the plan and then brought it in when I subscribed with Virgin. For our internet or Wi-Fi, we're with Tech Savvy. The cost is $80 a month, split between me and my girlfriend. So that comes out to $40 a month each. We also have to pay to get our laundry done. So it costs $2.50 per load of laundry, and I believe $1.50 to use the dryer, but we usually don't use the dryer except for our towels and sheets. It comes out to roughly $25 a month for laundry. That is all I have for my bills and utilities, and that comes out to $116 per month. Now let's talk about my car expenses. I own a 2013 Honda Civic. I bought the car a couple of years ago used for roughly, I think it was $13,000. It currently has 85,000 kilometers on it. I pay for parking at my apartment building, so it's $72 a month, and that is for an outdoor parking spot. My car insurance is $115 a month. That has decreased over the years. Last year it was $127, so it has decreased as I've gotten older. And I believe in Ottawa, car insurance is usually cheaper in general compared to like Toronto. I also bundle it with my apartment insurance, which also helps bring the cost down. So I don't think $114 is too bad of a cost for a Honda Civic 26-year-old uh, male driver. For gas, I currently do not commute to work as I'm still working from home, but that will change in 2023. During 2022, I averaged a cost of $110 per month. So with higher gas prices and whatnot, that amount did go up. But hopefully prices stay down in 2023. And with commuting, hopefully I don't uh, go over $200 a month. For parts and services for my car, I get my oil changed once a year, and I also had to get the rear brakes done. That averaged out to $100 per month. In total, my car cost me $396 per month. Let's get into food prices. Everyone's talking about how food prices have been increasing, and I have definitely seen that on my grocery bill. My grocery expenses averaged $515 per month, I shop at Costco for certain bulk items like eggs, egg whites, coffee, etc. And then the rest of the stuff I get from Food Basics. I don't believe I restrict uh, what I eat too much. I do eat meat every day. I do try to buy stuff when it's on sale, like ground beef and whatnot. So I try to keep that as low as possible, but I know for sure people can get that grocery bill lower than what I'm paying. That $515 also includes any household cleaning items, uh, personal care items, toothpaste, toothbrushes, deodorant, etc. For restaurants, I average $150 per month. I try to go on a date night with my girlfriend once a week, ideally. Recently, what we've been doing is eating at the food court at Costco, and we're able to get a meal for the two of us for under 20 bucks, which has been really nice to save some extra money. Now let's go through my other monthly expenses. I pay $63 in subscriptions a month. That includes my CAA membership, my Spotify membership, Adobe Lightroom, and PlayStation Plus. I get haircuts once a month at $35 each. I also go to Jiu Jitsu, that costs $170 a month. I don't have a regular gym membership, I just do push ups and pull ups and squats at home, and then I go to Jiu Jitsu a few times a week. In total, my other expenditures add up to $268 a month. If we add up all those expenses together, that equals $2,071 per month. That is what I spend a month as a 26 year old living in Ottawa, Ontario. Let me know what you spend and if you have any saving tips, uh, let people know in the comments and let me know so it can help me save some money as well.